Jody Foster, uh, Information Officer for the Central Okanagan Emergency Operations Centre. It's May 31st at 11 o'clock a.m. Uh, talk about the storm Tuesday night. Did it have much of an impact on the flooding in the area? Uh, no, actually we were very lucky. It uh, didn't materialize quite as expected, so there was um, not as much of an impact as we had expected. It's, and talk about how much the lake has uh, gone up and um, kind of what the main goal is now with residents and businesses. Uh, so the lake did go up about another four centimeters over last night from yesterday morning till today. Um, so it's still climbing a little bit every day right now. We're seeing high flows out of Mission Creek and some of the other area creeks into Okanagan Lake. So we're expecting that to continue over at least the next short while. And that contributed to the evacuation alerts down by Mission Creek? Yeah, um, we did at the end of the day yesterday put um, a number of residents that are in the mouth of Mission Creek on evacuation alert. Um, what they were really expecting is that as Mission Creek rises and is rising quite quickly as it bumps into the lake, which is already over full, um, that they could get some pooling and so they were concerned about those particular residences close to the edge of the creek. What would, do you know what would constitute an evacuation order for those residents? Um, we have evacuated people actually as of recently as earlier this week in the Tween Lakes area and generally it happens when there's a, a, a significant enough amount of flooding that it impacts utilities, gas lines or electrical, um, which then makes it unsafe for people to stay in their homes. When I left the studio, uh, I do believe there was a severe thunderstorm watch that had popped up. Uh, what can you tell residents, um, or perhaps what should residents be doing uh, in anticipation of that? You're right. There, There is still um, weather that's expected later this week, and as it's been right from the beginning of this event, it is very weather dependent. Heavy rain, uh, heavy wind can impact dramatically what happens on the lake and in the creeks as it continues to rise. Um, so people probably have, for the most part, I hope, um, flood protections in place, but they should go check those, uh, make sure they're still standing after the wind that happened yesterday, and reinforce them if they need to. And there's lots of information about how to do that on our website, which is courtemergency.ca.